here we have the tie tester or universal tester. So it powers with a USB C. It also comes with some other attachments. So this can test not only Bitmain amp miners, it can do micro BT, what's miners, it can do endo silicon, pretty much all the different makes and models. It can also test power supplies as well, so like APW 12s. Conveniently, you can also use this to set the voltage on your power supply, that way you can use it for testing. In that case, you would need to have two different test jigs. Let's go ahead and test this one out. Now this unit's a standalone, just like the Pico. So all you need is, is a USB-C instead of having to power your own power supply. And this one also has auto detect. So again, we'll do ground first, or negative, power positive second, and then data. Then you can power the jig on. That way you can see what, that it actually tests the EEPROM. It'll also test the PIC. go ahead and power on the variable power supply then we can go ahead and hit the B3 button that will turn on the test as you can see it already found all 76 ASIC it gives you up to a hundred seconds to test before you have to hit the test button again as you can also see it tests the RST signal by going backwards and forwards with that signal uh, this is mostly used for what's miners, but it's also convenient for other models as well. So once you see you have all the ASICs, you can also, with all these testers, be able to touch, test all the different test points. So again, we can come back and check the voltage coming in. Now the only difference between using your positive and negative leads on the different spots, as you can see, it just comes out negative. Then after the MOS, then we can test the boost. After that, we'd have to start taking off the plate and testing other things. Then we can turn off the test. You press B4 to go back to the main menu. You can also test the temperature sensor. You can also repair EEPROM. So this can read and write EEPROMs as well. And so we'll go ahead and test the temperature sensors. And then we'll go ahead and start it. Now, as you can see, we can see all the different temp sensors. It shows you exactly their location and what the actual component is. Now, it's also uh, interesting to note is that you don't even need it powering the board to do this test. So if you wanted to just test the temperature sensors, you don't need to have the power connected. And you can just go ahead and run the test. So I'll check the pick, pick itself and then the readings it gets off the other temperature sensors. Now we can also go straight into the EEPROM editing by just holding down B2. You hold down B3 and now you can go ahead and test power supplies and the different models. So if you were testing an APW-12, you'd basically hook up this here. You only need this little bit. Goes into the bigger plug-in. And then you just connect this into your power supply. 
Now you can adjust the voltage that you want it to read out of your power supply and actually test it, test it with your multimeter and DC voltage and see if it actually goes to that voltage or is around that voltage. And then as you adjust it, you can actually see the voltage either going up or down towards that. And that will determine if your power supply is actually good.